we have Kazafari, Niels Henning, and we have Manu from Lakestar who is doing the interview. Real estate needs data. Without data, you have no decision support. Kazafari is solving that. Please come on stage, Manu and Niels. Thank you so much. Thanks, Michael. Wow. Thank you guys very much. Um, I'll kick off with just one segment. We at Lakestar, we're an investment firm based out of London, Berlin, and Zurich. We've invested in 11 real estate technology companies since 2011. Two of them are above a billion in market cap. And uh, now I wanted to spend the, the rest of the time that we have together with our most recent investment that I'm very excited about, Kazafari. So Niels, <coughs> you know, I'm thinking about buying a home in Portugal. Can you please help me out? I think so. Yeah. But I can warn you already, a lot of things might go wrong. And it's not only in Portugal, it's in, in fact in entire Spain. So what might happen? We are building the biggest and cleanest real estate database in the world. I think I'm already connected to HDMI. We just need to... Here we go. Here we are. So... Right. Um, should I go to a real estate agent in Portugal? Yeah, you can pick up this one, for example. Um, this is, and it was surprising for us as well, the status quo of real estate. Keep in mind, it's the biggest industry in the world. It's a 280 trillion industry, so three times the global GDP. And this is a service level you can expect. I even didn't know that it's still possible to print in Polaroid. And since working in real estate, I understood it is a, it is a stage. So you have the choice. You can go to an agency. You can have a look at their Polaroids. They will show you what they have in their own portfolio. If it works well, you pay 5 to 6% commission. Or you can go to one of the leading marketplaces. And if you have a look into the market in Portugal, Spain, Italy, the dominant player in the market is Idealista. And Idealista is, in terms of technology, you could say the first mover. But what they did literally didn't happen or didn't change for, for 20 years. This is, I made a search for Lisbon, and what it tells you between 5 and 10 million euros, I think you have a big budget, you find 44 listings, and if you go down, Idealista tells you, by the way, it's casas and apartments, so houses and apartments. But if you go down, it's relatively fast, obvious, we talk about listings. Huh? And you see, this is the same apartment or penthouse than this one. And it is the same than this one. You can have for the same one, six bedroom, six bedroom, five bedroom. You even get 441 square meters instead of 857. And to show you even how more ridiculous it is, let's take this palace. If you call this agency, you get 1,500 square meters. If you call this one, it's 980. If you pick probably this one, it's 1,339. Calling this agency, you get 6,795 square meters. But should I go to a different listing site? How many different listing sites are there? If you talk about markets like Spain and Portugal, you have sites like Idealista, Fotocasa, Pisos.com, Habitaclia, Ye Contre, Milanuncios, Vibo, Trovit, Mitula, Green Acres, and, 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 and. you can, can spend all your time. You don't need to go to Lakesta okay. anymore. Uh, you just can <laughs> search on classified sites. And the crazy thing is, if you go down again on Idealist, and I go to the bottom of the page, and you see here we have again duplicated content with the same one, 920, 800, 620. It's all the same stuff. We probably don't talk about 44 unique properties. It's probably five with duplicated content. But you get one number, and that's very interesting. The median price in this zone, 9,458 euros per square meter, based on duplicated content, wrong data, so this number has no value at all. And this is the reason why we decided to start Casafari. How it looks like in Casafari? It's like, like this. I'm right now in the Lisbon um, um, Conseil. If I go down, you see the properties that we identified. Here I have the palace in Beato. This is a, the one that we saw. So we understand the most likely data about it. We rank agencies by price and by quality of data. Some of you might know England Focus. Most of you might know Portugal Sotheby's International Reality. And you even see this palace is on the market with ERA, 
what's a big brand in real estate, for 17 million euros. So if I have one click, I come over here, I see it's on the market for 17 million. Or you can say, let me call my German friends from England Focus, and you pay 15. Wow. So I make you save 2 million euros by this. That's, a, that's an insane difference between the two. It's an insane difference. Um, but this is the status quo of real estate in the market. Unfortunately, more than 20% of all unique properties in the market have different prices. Which, which markets do you think are subject to this? Because from the United States and from the UK, I feel like the data is relatively clean. Right. Um, you have a significantly better data quality exactly in the Anglosphere, partly also in Germany and Scandinavia but the rest of the world is in this stage. So we talk about entire Southern, Eastern Europe, Asia, Latin America, it's this pressing problem. It is a world. And I will show you how, it, how we do it as well in Casafari. Here you see the agencies listing it. If I go down, I see exactly their listing data, and we give you a live snapshot about the property. Right now you see in Beato, what is a subprime area of Lisbon, uh, you see there's just one property between 10 and 15 million euros on the market. So it's definitely an outlier. Mm -hmm. The same is what we see in terms of the square meter price. Here we have a square meter price of 9,174. In this area, definitely an outlier. Here we'll tell you, Mano, fingers away, yeah. uh, but consult me with Casafari. But what we also get in how we developed Casafari was the idea of creating the biggest and cleanest database in real estate. And our first audience were real estate agents to bring them exactly from the first picture to a digitalized world. But it was our intention to build this database and also serve other segments, for example, uh, banks, valuators, and so on. And for this, we developed market analytics. And I get right now very often the question, what is happening right now in, um, in Lisbon? Um, is it a booming market? Should I invest money into Lisbon? It's one of the hottest property markets combined with, with Hungary and Budapest uh, right now, if you have a look at the rankings from JLN and others. And I say it's very difficult to judge based on the data that you find. And therefore, we created, on top of our da database, market analytics. And if I go to the heat map, I see already the picture of Lisbon. This is the current price distribution um, on average asking prices, let me see, uh, per square meter. I can go also in the rental side, I can go also on the sales side. So we track rentals, we can track sales, we monitor all yields in lifetime. And we are right now on the stage where we evaluate every property, unique property, coming to the market and we benchmark it uh, to the comparables, and we get a live valuation, and we see exactly which properties are undervalued. I think this is really impressive. This is data that nobody else has. You've amalgamated it together into one platform, and who do you sell it to now? Like I said, we started with agencies. We have right now more than 7,000 agents paying for Casafari as a software, as a service product. Uh, we launched Market Analytics. This is an audience of developers, investors, uh, banks, insurance companies, property valuators, who pay also access to, um, to the data. But why we built Casafari? Because we detect all undervalued assets in real time, and we're the first ones. And that means in the next step, we move by ourselves into the transaction. That's fantastic. So tell us a little bit about your corporate history. When did you start this, and where are you based exactly? We're based in Lisbon, beautiful city. Uh, 75 people in the team. Uh, we started the company in Palma de Mallorca, very unusual, uh, in, in buying property by, by ourselves, and we understood there's a massive problem in Spain. Uh, we have a development studio in Hakif as well, and we just opened our distribution office in Madrid. Great, and you've raised some money from Lakestar. We raised some money from Lakestar. It was, in fact, the first financing. We bootstrapped or self-financed the business by ourselves with about one and a half million euros. And now we made a seed round with Lakestar and the lead and Roundhill Capital investing 5 million euros. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the time, Niels. Thank you, Manu. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.